What you see in front of you is a workflow. Now, if you have been experimenting with different chat tools or any type of AI over the past year, you're probably familiar with the basics, but workflows is unlike anything you've played with before. Because workflows doesn't just automate a one-off task. Instead, it automates entire processes. So instead of just writing a LinkedIn post, for example, or drafting a cold email, this will research your prospect, uh, infer their job responsibilities, and then write the content that you need to break through to them. Or it can understand what your competitors are posting and what their blogging uh, strategy is like, and then it will take that to draw insights that you can use to create a content calendar and then have it draft actual long-form SEO-friendly content along the way. So rather than just these one-off tasks that turn you into a faster task rabbit, a workflow is a way to align your entire teams because you can send the data to whichever departments need it, and also to automate those processes that are currently bottlenecking your GTM team, your go-to-market efforts. So in this example of a workflow, and with workflows, they're very flexible. You can accomplish just about anything uh, that you need. But what we have in front of us is a very basic pre-built workflow called leading contact enrichment from a LinkedIn profile. Now with this one, all I need to do is paste the LinkedIn URL of a prospect, whoever we will use me as an example in this video, but it will then scrape the profile, summarize the work history, extract the education details, extract the location, summarize recent posts, extract personal details, infer job responsibilities, extract technical skills, and then recommend use cases for the LinkedIn profile user based on the product knowledge that it has. So in this workflow, for instance, we know that we want to pitch copy AI workflows to certain people. So when I enter a LinkedIn profile, it will come up with use cases for copy AI as a GTM AI platform and the different use cases that would be most applicable to me. So great way to personalize contact, again, to ally your entire team so no one's working with silos anymore. Like when you're working with different chat tools, everyone has their own subscription. We're done with that. That is very 2023. 2024, everything is aligned. We're getting rid of the GTM bloat, and we are starting to streamline these processes by automating them and automating the grunt work along the way so that you and the other humans on your team can focus on that higher level strategy that actually moves the needle. So as an example, if we were to test this workflow, I've entered mine, and you can see that it has scraped my profile, summarizes my work history, looks at my education, where I'm currently working, looks at my personal details, infers my job responsibilities, and this is where AI is using its analyzation skills at, at work here. It's not just pulling from anything, it's trying to figure out what it is that I would do. So let's take a look at that. Developing and executing content strategies to increase brand awareness, yep. Testing various types of content, yep. Working with other teams to implement SEO best practices. All of this is fairly spot on into what I do. So if we go to, it will look at the technical tools and skills. I do not have any programming languages. So this is all very accurate. And then the use cases that it would recommend, high quality blog posts, ideas and drafts, automate email campaign creation, produce landing page copy and layout, optimize content for SEO. Yeah, this is incredible. You can hop in and try this with your own. Again, this is pre-built in the pre-built uh, workflow library over here. And we're going to walk you through everything in this video series. We are going to show you how to access the workflow library. But then we're going to teach you how you can create these workflows from scratch. We're going to teach you about actions and what we mean when we say to modify an action. We're going to teach you how you can change the language model within your workflow and then use InfoBase to add more context to your prompt and background to get higher and richer output right out of the gate. We're going to go through all of this with you to make sure that from start to finish, you are able to use workflows to get the assets that you need to keep your team aligned and to unlock this growth that's been bottlenecked for the past few years. So get ready for the next video. We're gonna take a deeper dive into the differences between chat and workflows, but enjoy the entire series to make sure that you get the support you need to build the workflows that you want.